Okay, let's talk about percent. And we're actually going to do this problem without the aid of a calculator. And the problem is 2% of 3% of 900. So how do we do this problem? Well, if you um, are not quite sure, you know, that you could do this without a calculator, we'll use a calculator and see if we can get the right answer. But percent is closely related to the topic of decimals and fractions. Okay, it's all kind of ties together. So I'm kind of really kind of testing your ability to work with decimals and fractions, and of course, percent, and see how well you understand all these topics as percent and basic mathematics is extremely important in practical real world terms. Okay, you certainly can't turn on the news, look at your cell phone, go walk into a store without seeing this symbol. So you want to really um, get strong at percent. And this would be a nice kind of review problem, but again, we want to see how well you understand decimals and fractions and of course how it all ties in so try to do this problem without a calculator see what you come up with but uh, i'm going to do this here in just one second but first let me quickly introduce myself my name is john i'm the founder of tc math academy i'm also a middle and high school math teacher i've been teaching math for decades and i'm telling you right now all of you out there can be very successful in mathematics but it requires great math instruction clear understandable and comprehensive so if you're at the middle school high school or college level, check out my math help program. You can uh, find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make a huge impact on your ability to be successful in mathematics. Now, most of you out there are going to um, have to take some sort of test with a dedicated math section. If you're going to college or going into some sort of training program, uh, you're going to have to take an exam like the Alex exam, AccuPlacer, maybe the SAT, ACT, teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare for these exams. Um, if you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers. You can check that out if you're interested. If you have a pair of great math notes, that's excellent. You should be congratulated. But uh, if you don't, you need to start working on your notes. This is critical uh, to your ability to be successful in math. But I'm going to leave uh, some links to my math notes in the, uh, the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out uh, big time. Okay, so let's get into this problem. And, of course, if you want to pause uh, the video and just see if you can come up with the, the correct answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But let's talk about percent in terms of the skills you need to understand uh, to solve percent problems. So the first one, and this is no particular order, is you need to be able to write a percent as a decimal, okay? And then vice versa, you need to be able to write a decimal as a percent. So this is basic percent stuff. So for example, could you write 6% as a decimal? That's what I'm talking about. And then could you write uh, the decimal 0.27? Could you write this as a percent? Okay, now I'm not going to teach all of this. We'll kind of review this a bit in this one particular problem. But these are things that you need to understand in order to do a problem like this. This is just general percent skills. You also need to understand how to um, express a percent as a fraction and then how to convert a fraction to a percent. And then uh, you need to be able to understand how to find a percent of a number. So, for example, if I said find 6% of 30. How do you do that? It's like the most basic type of percent prom. And then here I have percent proms, but uh, what I mean by this is things that are a little bit more interesting. Uh, stuff like 8 is 3% uh, of what number? Okay, so 8 is 3% of one number. This is a little bit more interesting than a prom like this. So this is kind of a good summary of the big picture skills you need to understand for percent. So if you're like, no, I can find a percent of a number, that's pretty easy. Uh, most of you can hopefully do this, but when it comes to all these other things, you know, we kind of get forgetful about it, but you know, you don't want to forget because the percent is a critical skill. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our problem. And as promised, I'm going to do this without the aid of a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 2% of 3% of 900. So 3% of, I'm thinking about this problem, like, okay, 2% of 3% of what? Well, 2%, uh, well, actually, let me say it this way, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. 2% of what? Well, 2% of 3% of 900. So this is an actual number right here. So we need to get this value first, and then we'll find 2% of whatever the result of this is, um, 
of 3% of 900 is. So if you were thinking in those terms, that's excellent. So now we need to go ahead and find what 3% of 900 is. Okay, so how do you find the percent of a number? So that's a basic uh, math skill we talked about. So what you do is you convert the percent to a decimal. So 3% we can express as the decimal 0.03. All right, so just a quick review. 3% is the same thing as 3.0%. So to move to change a uh, percent to a decimal, we simply move the decimal point over two places to the left, so you get 0 0.03. But really what's going on here is you're dividing that 3% by 100, okay? So when you want to express a percent as a fraction, you just simply put it over 100, okay? So here is the decimal equivalent, 0 0.03, which is 3 one hundredths, and here, 3 one, uh, over 100 is a fractional uh, equivalent of 3%. So you need to convert. We're very uh, much used to converting to decimals and multiplying by that number because we're working with the calculator, but you can also write this as a fraction. So you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here in a second. But this is what we need to do. So 3% of 900, we gotta figure this out. So if you're gonna use your calculator, most of you aren't gonna mess around with this decimal multiplication. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna do it, that's excellent. But let's just do, uh, turn this um, uh, decimal 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths into a fraction, okay? Or write that um, a percent as a fraction, which is equivalent to 3 hundredths. So now we're gonna, we're gonna take that three over 100 and multiply by 900. So how do you multiply fractions? Well, you multiply the numerators and the denominators. And so this is super easy because I'd be like, oh, well, 100 goes into 909. So nine times uh, three is, of course, 27. Or you can go three times 900, 2700 divided by 100. Either way, you're going to end up with the answer of 27. Okay, so now, again, I'm not using a calculator. Of course, I uh, did this all in advance, but this is all basic arithmetic, nice, easy numbers to work with. So if you got this point, if you got to this point in the problem, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for being pretty awesome at percent, but we're not done. We need to go ahead and figure out what 2% of 27 is. So let's go ahead and do that now. And we're going to use the same technique. So instead of um, uh, converting 2% into a decimal, which would be 0.02, and then multiply by 27. And now I can write that percent as a fraction by just putting that over 100. Okay, so 2% expressed as a fraction is 2 over 100. And this is just going to make our life a lot easier. I like to work with fractions um, better than decimals. So now we're going to multiply 2% times 27. So 2% 2 of 27. Again, we multiply that decimal equivalent. That's typically what we're used to because we have a calculator by this number, but this time we're gonna multiply the um, fractional equivalent. So I think that'll be two over 100 times 27 or 27 over one. And so let's go and do that math. So it's gonna be two times 27 is 54. 100 times one is 100. So here is our answer, 54 hundredths. And of course, if you did this using a calculator, you would end up with 0.54, which is uh, equivalent to uh, 54 hundredths. Okay, you would say 0.54 or 54 hundredths. All that good stuff that you learn way back in the fifth grade, place value, that's all, you know, comes in handy, all this basic math. And most of us forgot that, including myself, because we learned it, well, I'll speak for myself, I learned this way back in a good old 1970s when school was awesome. Okay, when recess was really recess, where you can go out there and just <laughs> tumble around and uh, get hurt and then come on in and then your first grade teacher is out there smoking a cigarette. That's what I remember uh, from the 1970s. But anyways, I'll tell you one thing. I do uh, know that we did a lot of arithmetic and uh, all this basic stuff, you know, you've learned it, okay? You just have to kind of brush off the cobwebs and uh, kind of get back to it. But listen, if you got this problem right without the aid of a calculator, I must give you your nice little happy face. We'll give you an A plus, a 100% and a few stars just to give you an extra special feeling for being awesome at percent. Okay, so listen, there's going to be times where, you know, I know all of us walk around with our, our cell phone, which has everything, right? Well, we can answer any question in the universe by using our cell phone. But what if you, what happens if you don't have a phone or a calculator and you got to kind of figure something out mentally? Okay, you just never know what kind of situation you're going to have to do some basic 
um, you know, arithmetic, all right? So try to do problems without the, uh, or at least try to challenge yourself to do problems without the aid of a calculator. It's a good way to reinforce these concepts, especially these basic uh, concepts, uh, fractions, decimals, and percent. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need additional help with basic mathematics, arithmetic, uh, those type place value that I was talking about, all that kind of good stuff, I would strongly suggest my Math Foundations course. It's like a little mini course, but it's really, really powerful and it reviews all that good stuff that you learn in elementary school and some of middle school. And of course, you can find that at my Math Help program. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.